Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the math magic trick proof for you. If you remember from our last video, we said that when we add up all these numbers, it had to be 34. And to recap that, you would pick one number here within this chart, and the next number can't be from the same row or column, and you pick four numbers with continuing that rule. When you add up your numbers, you always get 34. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, well, how does that work? Well, there's a proof for it. We can see it mathematically why it always becomes a 34. So, to analyze this, let's look at our first column here. We have 1, then 5 is a difference of 4. If we picked 1, we can't pick the rest of the numbers. If we pick, well, 5, that's the same thing as 1 plus 4. If we pick 9, it'll be 1 plus 4 plus 4, or 1 times 2 times 4, uh, 4. 1 plus 2 times 4. So let's go see if we can write something out here with our variables to see how much we actually multiply this by to get up all the sums. So if we start off with a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4, dealing with the original columns here. Let me give a little space here for that. The value that we could pick from column 1 can be 1 or 4 times how many numbers we're gonna go down. And so we don't really know how many we're gonna pick yet, so let's give it the variable a. The same thing happens, the plus sign here, oops, plus here, two plus four times, well, this number two can be, well, four, if we go two plus four is six, plus four is 10, and 14 is another four, but we don't know how, which one down within this column we're gonna pick. But we can represent that number as two plus four times another number. B. And then we're going to add that to 3 as well. The third column, same idea. 4 apart for each one. So we have 3 plus 4, and I didn't give myself enough space. Classic move. So 3 plus 4 times, let's say, the letter C. We don't know what the C value is. Then from there, same thing, we have the fourth column is either 4 to plus 4 times, well, how many times we go down? Either 1, 2, or 3. So we have, again, 4 times a letter D. Now we need to set some parameters for A, B, C, and D. Notice we've picked within each column, again this represents the number in column 1, column 2, column 3, and column 4. A represents how far down that column we go, what row we're in. So our rules for A, B, C, and D is that they have to be, well, different numbers, and those numbers can be between, so A, B, C and D are different different numbers from well, 0, 1, 2, and 3. If we have 0, let's say, for A, we would have a value right here of 1 being picked. If we had B being 1, we would then have, well, 2 times 4 times 1 is 6, and so on and so forth. So how can we, well, then rewrite this? Well, what notice I have here Okay, I have a 1, and a 2, and a 3, and a 4 separated out. In order of operations, say we can rearrange this. So I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then we're adding that to be the, well, 4a plus 4b plus 4c plus 4d. Well, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 comes out to be a 10. That's pretty easy. Then, with the rules of mathematics, we can bring out the 4s right here as well. Pull a 4 out from each part, and we have 4 times an A plus B plus C plus D. If we only knew what A plus B plus C plus D were, well, we don't know specifically what A is, what B is, what C is, what D is, but we know when we add them all up, because each one has to be different, that 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. So we have 10 here plus 4 times a 6 right there, and then 4 times 6 24, 10 plus 24, and there we have it. No matter what values you really pick by setting it up, we will always get a value of 34 right there. I hope you liked this video on the explanation of the math magic trick with the proof, quotations proof here for that. If you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and again like this video. This helps us really make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.